What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite defense for stopping the gun spread offense in Madden 22. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe. And you can also, if you don't enjoy the content, you can also always unsubscribe at a later time if you would like to. Um, I post eight to nine videos a day for tips and tricks that will help you get better at this game. That being said, I wanna dive into how I like to defend spread right now. Um, I think spread is really an underrated offense. I think the five wide, the spread formations, they're really tough to stop, especially if you're playing someone that knows what they're doing um, with this because the spacing is so good out of these formations. That being said, I just released my 4-6 defensive guide. If you've not picked that up yet, I would encourage you to do that. It's just 15 bucks. There's a link in the description that'll take you right to the website. You can get that guide within about five minutes. We'll get you all squared away. 15 bucks for the defense. And the defensive guide covers how to stop spread in great detail. It also covers um, how to send pressure. Um, we share with you great pressure concepts out of this. We also put a ton of resource in this defensive guide on actually teaching you how to slow down formations by formations. What are the specific adjustments that you need to make to stop someone that is running gun tight offset or trips tight end or gun bunch or U trips and we actually put some recommended stuff in there for you as opposed to just leaving you on an island with one or two blitzes and calling it good we really tried to put a lot of resource into teaching you how to actually slow down and stop these defenses with your coverage what are the right zones to call based on what coverage what routes what tendencies all of that's in the defensive guide so if you want to get it there's a link in the description but let's show you how to slow down spread and when I'm defending gun spread, my favorite thing to do is put my flats on 30. I like to put my curl flats on 5. Now, these flats could be 25. Uh, I will say that. Um, actually, you know what? Spread, let's put them on 25 just because it's spread. There's not as many uh, like deep, deep stuff that they can do. The other thing that I like to do against spread is I actually like to put my curl flats on 10. And the reason why I like to do that is because I find that gun spread doesn't attack the flats as well as something like a gun bunch. Gun spread, the flats are more of a check down. They're not really a primary read. So this is what I do. And again, if they're attacking the flats, put that down to five. But I like 10. Hook curls, leave these on default. We need them on default. Okay, really important. That being said, let's dive in. So uh, real quick, really important. If you're defending spread, make sure you have the safety nickelback package on and we're gonna audible down and we're gonna audible into the Mike Blitz Zero. And the reason why we're gonna go to Mike Blitz Zero is because if you take a look at these safeties, whenever I go to press coverage, it's going to put them in a really interesting position. You see that it puts them in a position of strength in my opinion, as far as how they're gonna widen out a little bit for their man coverage. Um, if you, Let me show you the difference between Mike Blitz Three You'll see there are just a little bit more inside. That's just a little bit of a difference, but to me, it's a big difference, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to play cover two. So we're gonna put both corners on the outside in cloud flats. We're gonna put both safeties in outside thirds to their side. So as you see here on the right or the left, we're going outside third to the right or to the left, I'm sorry. On the other side, we're going outside third to the right. So you see here, this is what we've created so far. Then really important, really really important for defending this formation take your linebacker on this side and please man him up on the slot so you're going to notice we have both slots manned up so what are the things that they can hit us with a deep deep skinny post period that's it and most of the time those deep skinny posts will actually come from an outside receiver from the wide side of the field so you guessed it we're going to take this linebacker and we're going to man him up onto that player just like so and then all we're going to do is we're going to drop this defender uh, on the left side into a vertical hook zone. So he's just playing in the middle of the field. Your job is the running back. If the running back does anything, you're basically going to kind of play some, in my opinion, you're basically just going to play kind of some chess with the running back. Now, if you don't want to do it this way, that's fine. Um, then just take this defensive end on the running back side and just man him up on the running back. You can do that as well. Um, this is my favorite way to defend it. Uh, basically, they're going to have to run some shallow crosses 
Uh, and really, you're just kind of spotlighting that solo receiver on the right side. Typically, that receiver is going to be on something like a hitch or something. Um, but if he's on any, like if you look at this, I mean, normally he's on some kind of clear out route. But something like this play right here, you're going to see great defense across the board. And then that cross man coverage, obviously we want that to be able to guard that. Obviously, with Devontae Adams having route tech, we weren't able to. But I'm going to show you something that we can do for that in just a moment. Let me... Um, let me um, go ahead and, and, and get the ball back to my offense. But you see the basic idea. And again, if you have a safety in that position that has better man coverage and, and that guy doesn't have route tech, you're going to be fine. You're not going to have to worry about that in man coverage. But I will show you something else that you can do if, if you're worried about a skinny post. I'm going to show you another option um, that you can go to that's a little bit more, um, I think, a little bit more safe. And it's also, honestly, it's what I would do is I would call this, if you're not worried about anything on the sidelines in terms of like a like major deep corner route or something, like if they're not running stuff like that, this is a great defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in, we're going to put our flats on default, and we're just going to run with our five-yard curl flats, okay? And we're actually going to run basically the same thing, except we're going to have a little bit of a nuance to it. So I'm just going to come out and spread. I'm going to put a, a deep post on the field. And in this example, I'm just going to do that from, let's see, PA comebacks is fine. But all we're going to do is we're going to go down to uh, to Mike Blitz zero. Okay, we're going to put two cloud flats on the outside. Now, really important, when we audible, we're going to baseline. Now, notice when we base a line against man coverage, nothing, see where the corners go? Okay. So that's just something that you need to pay attention to because you're going to quickly unbase align. But you're just base aligning long enough to put the slot corner in a middle third. Then you're going right back to your man line or your uh, default alignment, and then you're putting your safeties in their in their perspective zones. As you can see, uh, this is kind of this is kind of what we uh, what we create. Okay. Now from there, we're just doing essentially we're going to cross man the slots, and then that's it. Oops. So we just cross me in the slots just like this. And then all you really have to do is just watch the running back. If you wanted to, put this guy on a put this guy right here in man coverage on the running back, like we said. Now you're in a really good spot because these clouds, they're gonna pretty much take everything to the outside. You just have to watch the middle of the field. And if they're running things like these deep posts, like from PA wheel and stuff like that, what you're gonna see is these deep post routes are not gonna have a prayer at that middle third obviously caught it but my guy's right there if i just click on to him i'm gonna make that play so that's another version of the same thing that you can do the biggest thing that you've got to pay attention to is if they if you're using in the middle of the field and there's i have found that what people can can get away with in something like a spread is if you are using the middle field and let's say they're running something like a like a deep post from the wide side, super deep post route on this. You can get burned by that. And that's why I say uh, the wide side of the field guy put a, cross, put, a, put a man coverage on it. Okay? So that's that. Let me show you how to do the same coverage. We're just going to do it all as zone coverage. So we're just going to audible down into the Mike Blitz 3 this time because we're not going to be doing anything, any man coverage. And we're just going to put that slot corner into – we're going to baseline – Put that slot corner in the middle third. Then we're going to unbase a line and press our coverage. And then we're going to put our safeties in their coverages just like so. And then lastly, we're going to put two purples. Or uh, I'm sorry, not two purples. We're going to have two cloud flats. And then to the wide side of the field, we're going to have a purple zone. And then what I like to do is put a three rec. So this is basically the coverage we create right here. To me, this is one of the better coverages in the game for defending this specific type of defense or um, of offense. To the, to the wide side of the field, you want to have good Mabel coverage. And then you're kind of shadowing um, because if that guy goes vertical, you just got to watch. If he goes vertical, then you're coming down on this crosser. And as you see, we play really solid defense against the gun spread. Now, I want to thank you for watching this video. And like I said, if you've not gotten my full 4-6 defensive guide yet, if you thought this video went into a little bit of detail, we go into a ton, a ton of detail as far as how to defend things like spread and tight and gun bunch and all of the major meta offenses in this game. So if you want to learn how to start getting more consistent stops on defense, 
Grab the defensive guide. Like I said, it's on sale for just uh, $15. There's a link in the description. You just click that link. It takes you right to the website where you can get the defensive game plan. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit.